Hi class, uh, welcome back. I hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, it's your instructor Alex Gariba here and um, welcome to another Counseling 120 lecture. Today um, we will be covering a few things. Um, first and foremost, uh, we want to make sure that um, that you are um, continuing to read the catalog. As I mentioned, this will be the heaviest reading portion of the class, the first portion of the class. Um, so if you can, by Thursday, complete reading pages 17 through 31 of the catalog, and I'll have another uh, reading assignment for you um, uh, on Thursday as well. Um, keep in mind that um, I do want to give a quiz early next week as a heads up. Some of you have been asking about uh, the quizzes on Canvas or via email. And I do plan um, early next week to provide you with a quiz, which you'll have about a week to complete. Um, today we'll be covering um, fees, grades and scholarships, as well as academic policy. So we'll jump right into it. Um, First off, with fees, um, there are a number of fees that come into play when you're a college student, um, also, and it's no exception here in the San Mateo County Community College District and College of San Mateo. Um, some of the fees that are out there, the audit fee is um, if you've already taken a class or, um, and you want to um, get a refresher, that's one way to do it. and. Um, you have the option through the educational code to audit and there's a $15 per unit fee. Um, the standard state mandated enrollment fee for California residents and eligible undocumented students is $46 per unit. So that's a key. That's something that may appear on a quiz and an exam later. So $46 a unit is the standard fee. Um, there are also um, health service fees. And those are services, those fees go towards serving all students. Um, each college in the district has a health center and services associated with that, as you learned in your accessing student services assignment. Um, so that includes personal counseling, the food pantries, um, running, um, having um, checkups, um, if you have a headache, if you want a vision test, all kinds of different health services are available and paying into those fees um, definitely help support it. Even if you have uh, insurance, you can um, utilize some of the health services. And if you don't, it's a really terrific uh, resource if you don't have insurance. The student representation fee goes towards advocacy for student um, government and groups to represent um, the students at college district, um, statewide, local government levels. Um, so again, um, that goes towards advocacy and representation. Um, all colleges in the district have a parking fee. Um, there is a, a $58 each semester fee for fall and spring and $27 for summer. Slightly discounted two semester permit of $108 and that can get you fall and spring. All right. um, student body fee, another optional fee but does go to a good cause. So it helps with student government, on-campus events, scholarships, um, food for students. Um, so there are a number of activities and events that happen such as the welcome day um, or even um, during uh, midterm week, they sometimes have coffee and snacks and food for students um, and also helps um, run uh, student government and clubs and organizations. So. Um, definitely a great use of fees, but again, is optional. Um, international students and out-of-state students are um, responsible for paying um, non-resident fees. And on top of those non-resident fees per unit, they also have to pay the $46 per unit plus outlayer fees. Um, and uh, something really important to note here, um, just because I think um, there are a lot of students that face this every semester, but um, fees are due upon registration, right? And students can be dropped from classes for not paying fees. So um, what happens if you can't afford to pay the fees? What are your options? Well, one that I would highly recommend is um, definitely apply for FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. 
and we'll be covering financial aid um, more in detail later in the semester, but the FAFSA is something that I recommend that you apply for every year. It opens on October 1st of every year, so st if students are applying for financial aid, um, that's one way that they won't get dropped. Another way is um, to um, consider a payment plan. So for a small fee, students can um, sign up for a payment plan um, and pay in installments for their enrollment fees at the college, which is nice. And if you've got your financial aid application in and payment plan, um, you won't be dropped from your fees. And of course, um, you can pay in person or on WebSmart using cash credit um, and debit cards. But just note those things. Um, even this semester, we did have some students who ran into getting dropped um, for non-payment. So hopefully that situation doesn't affect you. And again, if it is something that you can't afford at the time, um, there are options like financial aid or, um, or even uh, the payment plan, okay? Um, the next thing we're going to talk about as we transition um, out of fees are um, grades and scholarships. So um, this portion will cover grades and scholarship. So uh, a unit, what is a unit? It represents one hour each week of lecture or three hours in a lab in a semester, right? So in high school, for those of you who went to high school, um, credits are often used. Well, in college, they measure them through units. So um, three hours of lecture is offered in uh, Counseling 120 each week, so it's a three-hour class. Um, so you can expect about three hours of lecture and uh, activities in the class during each week, okay? Um, next thing we'll talk about is grades. These are symbols determined by the instructor, and we'll go more into detail uh, about specific grades uh, later in this lecture. Um, grade point average, also known as GPA, that's a way that you can determine it by dividing the number of grade points by the units taken as a student. So um, one example is, let's say there's a student who is taking six units um, and they earned a B in one class and they're in another class uh, that's also three units and they earned an A. What would that student's GPA be? And that's something I want to ask you um, and I'll have the answer for you right now. Um, so with the student with the B in a three unit class um, a B is um, worth uh, three grade points and it's three units so three times three is nine so for the student in that three unit course with a B they would have nine total grade points for the class that they have an A in that is three units it's four grade points for an A times um, three units so 12 grade points so the student um, with the, the B, they have nine grade points, and for the A, they have 12 grade points, okay? So you want to add up those grade points to calculate the GPA. Um, that would be 21 grade points, and divide it by the number of units they're taking. You remember how many units? Six units. So 21 grade points in this case divided by six units, because the student has an A in one class and a B in the other class, both three unit classes. So 21 grade points divided by six units equals a grade point average of 3.5. Um, so that's just a quick, simple example. Um, on the exam, we're gonna, uh, or our quizzes, we're gonna likely have a GPA calculation question. Um, and we'll go through the points um, as well. What's really cool too is um, on collegeofsanmateo.edu, if you hit the search button and type in GPA calculator, um, there is a tool that can help do it for you manually, but um, we also want to show you how to calculate a GPA on your own too, okay? Um, the other thing to note is that um, Non-applicable degree classes don't count towards the GPA. Also, um, 
credit or pass do also do not count towards a GPA, um, nor do failures. So we want to go through the grade symbols um, here really quickly. Um, so obviously an A is worth four grade points and it's defined as excellent, um, whereas a B uh, is defined by good um, and worth three grade points. Keep in mind that College of San Mateo and the San Mateo County Community College District, we do use plus and minuses and they are calculated in the GPA. So you can again use the specific grade points to help you. Um, again, grading symbols for C pluses, um, C's, D pluses, D's, D minuses, and F's. Is there anything missing on this particular um, chart that you might see? What I'm looking for is there's no C minuses, right? So the, our district does not um, give out C minus grades. So that's important to note again, um, the district does not give out C minus grades. And then um, here are some other symbols that are available, excused withdrawal. Um, so that may be a grade option. Um, credit, um, so some students um, may opt for credit or no credit, or sometimes classes are only offered as um, pass, no pass, or credit, no credit. Uh, an example of that is the uh, Career 126 class and Counseling 111 class that I teach. Uh, grade option is not available. Whereas in Counseling 120, that is an option. Okay, um, you know, we do have students that are active um, duty military and sometimes there are uh, military withdrawal options. Um, sometimes students um, uh, may have to uh, make up work or a certain circumstance may come up um, where they do have to um, um, take a withdrawal or uh, an in-progress uh, or an H where no grade is issued. So these are the different uh, grading symbols that are available. Um, and I'll have this lecture posted as well so you can look at the symbols, but they're also available in the catalog in your reading. Um, so just some things to wrap up, really understanding what are the, um, the different fees that are um, out there for students. What is the standard um, California resident or um, um, fees for um, eligible undocumented students? Um, the health fee, there are a number of different fees. So really understand that. Understand what is a unit, um, what is a grade, how do you calculate your GPA? Um, so that's it for now. Um, we'll have more later in the week uh, where we continue on. So. Um, have a great day, and again, um, be ready as we will um, have a quiz on the catalog uh, and things that we've covered in relation to the catalog early next week. Take care.